Hello, everyone. Today we are making choir just by using our voice. Our meaning mine. Yes, I am here. You're not here to make you with your voice. Don't don't get all. And 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 and. I just wanted to say that this sound was requested. What's the sound? This one. But was requested again by our uh, the requester of the sounds, uh, Ned Noodler. But I also got a request from a wait. <laughs> I, uh, this, this belief. Wait, I have to read it. This belief, Dan Backhouse. Five eight zero seven. Hi. And this person requested like a video more talking about how I process the sounds for that of in a mix like I think. We'll do that. I'll try that those two to merge in one video. Let's see. So this is what we got so far. <sighs> Okay, as you can see, it sounds awful. I'm just deleting this all. <laughs> Sorry. I cannot have it in my household like this. So the first thing to remember when you're making a choir si sound is you have to be sure that you've been listening to a lot of choir -y music. So if you hear this music, listen to this music a lot, at some point, you understand what is considered realistic to that sound, let's say. For me, I know that usually the one important rule there is that the sounds should be moving smoothly, transition from note to note smoothly, and also Actually, let, I, I will explain all of this on practice. First thing, I have opened my presence of Studio One, activated this preset sound. Why am I doing this? I'm just going to come up with a chord and let's see how it goes. Is it just so this gives us understanding what we have here the notes i'm not going to go into uh as i'm guessing this might be watched by beginners for example i'm not going to right now explain the chords and stuff i don't know you need to know music theory i'm so sorry if you don't know if you want me to make other music theory videos i mean this is not music theory at all <laughs> sorry I mean, I don't have time that much in this video. I have to make okay. I have to be quick, 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 quick. Yeah, but if you want to make, if you want me to make uh, music theory videos, just let me know, okay? Just visually, you can see what kind of pattern we have here. Okay, I hope you know the names of the notes. I like so. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> So we have here uh, the D, E, G, C, if you are using the other type of notes and you don't know what are these, this is Re, Mi, G, uh, Sol, and Do. And look how they are moving here. Look, this one is not here. I didn't play it here. Why? But it should, it can be staying. So let me explain again. We have to be moving smoothly. And if there is a note that can stay in its place and is not going to bother us, it will sound amazing if it will just stay. So I'm just going to have it repeated, duplicated here. Uh -huh. Just press T and it will duplicate for you. 
is the one. Uh -huh. We have smooth transition to here. This one can be moving from here, like splitting. This one, this one stays, this one goes down. This one, and this, ah, the sopranos. Hey, sopranos, look. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not looking at it at this as a choir, like I'm the choir, not in a keyboard way, not in the piano way. Like you see this, this uh, layer of sopranos, for example, like let's say these ones are altos, right? And these one are like second sopranos, are like mezzo soprano part. Usually you just go in the choir, you just go sopranos and altos, but mezzo soprano is like in the middle. Uh, gosh, I'm talking so much. This is too much information. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm I'm going to move further. Also, you're going to check if these notes you're able to sing or not. For example, this one. Oh, can be lower this one. It can be lower. Yeah, let's go lower. Like. Lower. We cannot sing this high. this open for now because it will have it will um, help us when we are singing let's open the, 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 the new track vocal track of course we are going to just sing every note we have here you can have two types of each like and the other one you can create with another character for example, this one was Yeah, and the second one we can do So see, these ones are like soprano one, soprano one, soprano two. Aye. Girl, I said mute yourself. Sounding a bit dirty, but I think it's fine. Next. For this middle one, I'm going to do... Just line, and the other one I will do. So it was it uh, uh, cuts. You <laughs> no. And the last layer. <laughs> It is technically wrong. Wrong in a more, let's say, baroque choir music when you have the second on the start bit, bit start, bar start, first bit. <laughs> uh, but in our society, in our times, in our decades, in our. Gosh, I love how I forget all of the uh, words in English. It is not that uncommon to have second interval, like 
a bit clashing interval when on the start bit. They start. First bar, first bars, first bit. Yeah. Uh. Oh, hell no. I just realized I'm doing for 18 minutes. Guys, uh, there will be second part, yeah. <laughs> Let's continue that in the second part, right? So, you don't get tired, I don't get tired. We live in a peaceful world. Yeah. But there are some things I cannot s mm, inform you about in the first video. Uh, so, we have sopranos, right? This one. Right? These ones are altos. Let's put alto one, alto one, alto two, alto three. <laughs> because I'm not tenor, okay? I cannot be tenor. Uh, ah! You heard that, right? So, what I want to talk about uh, next. Melodyne. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to enable this track and have Melodyne put here. Mm -hmm. Here, as you can see it already. Uh, mm. uh, uh, Just by ear. I'm not going to do anything that it does. Melden does a good job actually when you do it automatically. Sometimes I do that too. But here I just want to check it by myself. Uh, you heard that? You heard that? Uh, uh, which I don't really want. Uh, uh -huh. Now sounds better. Yeah. So. You can do this type of tweaks in your track. The other thing that's very important also the how they are synchronized. But again, it's not it doesn't have to be perfect and it's important that it's not perfect when it comes to this because we are human. If we make the sound perfect, it are it is not going to be sounding realistic. We need imperfection. As I did with the metronome on, I don't know, I'm not sure if you were able to hear the metronome, but I did it with the metronome and that's why it is sounding good, decent for me time wise. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to continue further. I'm going to continue in the next video. A story, disbelief, then. Sorry. This belief then back house five eight zero seven. I cannot do the processing in this video. Okay, I'm sorry. But we'll do it in the next one. For sure. For sure I will show you cool tricks. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye. And yeah. You can wait for the next video or or you can just go. I'm not going to continue talking. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Have a good day. Have a good life. Have a good. Blah, 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 blah. And keep requesting sounds. Yeah? Okay, bye.